How are you doing today? Welcome to my poker channel. My name is Andres Fröli and originally I'm a school teacher that now plays lots of poker and makes content here on YouTube. Today's video is going to be all about GG Poker banning Tobias Dat1 from Germany, an online high six poker rack. And if you like poker content like that, make sure to smash like, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. Let's jump right into the story. Back in 2016, Tobias was playing on the natural eight skin on a GG Poker network. He won about three to $5,000 and then they told him to get the fuck off the site. He can keep his money, but he's banned from the network and he shouldn't try to return or they will follow through with their protocol. They never mentioned what the protocol was. So he didn't until 2019 when he saw the skin Best Poker, which I've never heard of, but apparently was a skin of the GG network. And he made a new account using the same email and similar data, according to himself. And then they recognized that and they banned him again. But of course, in the home of Mr. More Rick is Better, Daniel Legrano, this is not how it works. Instead, they let Tobias lose $85,000 on best poker until they stopped offering high six table on that skin. So according to the protocol, it was okay for him to lose 85 grand. He wanted to continue high stakes poker, so he went on to the next skin, Bad Kings, played a little bit on there, which was again okay because he didn't win anything, until he finally arrived on the GG Poker skin itself with a new affiliate. Now we are in 2020 and Tobias is dropping a 50k deposit on GG Poker. He also starts losing about 20,000 until he goes from 30,000 to 180,000 in the span of only one and a half weeks. Huge upswing for Tobias. Just recently, GG Poker changed the nicknames to real names on the high six poker tables. And that led to them asking for new verification details of Tobias. So he had to send them some new documents. And now suddenly, they discovered that they banned his ass in 2016. What a bummer. So long story short, they take his $130,000 upswing and give it to some of his opponents. I don't know about you, but I would like to see some receipts. Now, some people on Twitter say that it's Tobias's fault because he returned to a network where he was previously banned. I don't understand it. What the fuck is wrong with these people? He literally was offered to play on the network again as long as he was losing. So they were basically free rolling him. And then eventually when he started winning again, they suddenly found out that he was the same guy that they had previously banned. Like, how is this even real? Who is holding these poker sites accountable these days? Well, usually it's the UK Gambling Commission, but for GG Poker, it's Curacao Gaming. I didn't even know where that was. It was somewhere in Venezuela, but I don't know what the fuck they are doing. If you have seen my previous video on GG Poker, you know that I think that the terms of service on that site are absolutely ridiculous. They're gonna discriminate some players and not some others. And that I always preach pure poker. For me, poker is a game where you just sit down and play. No cheating, no angle shooting, no scumbag shit, no weird rake back structures that nobody understands that favor some players over some others. Just plain and simple poker. Unfortunately, we got a lot of hypocrites in poker. And if you ask me, Daniel Negrano is the best example for it. Having made eight figures in poker and sponsorship deals at least, he's almost made his mission to join forces with poker sites that make it a lot harder for poker players to do what he has done in the past. How insane is that? What's even more shocking is that there is quite a few people these days that believe that banning online poker players is a viable solution. As David Lappin says, 10 years ago it was play with the pros, in 2020 it's fuck the pros. Obviously, this is just one incident. I'm gonna link you everything that I found in the description below. My promise to you is that I keep it real here on this channel and about poker. So if you appreciate that, make sure to smash like, subscribe, and the notification bell. I'm gonna see you in the next video.